Hey YouTube, Cape Cod Cuda. This is the Dodge Dakota 1992. Dodge Dakota LE. Uh, yeah, LE. Uh, it's rust oleum smoke gray. I'm painting it. I got love bugs flying around, sticking on the paint now. This is only the first coat. I taped off the truck a couple of days ago, but we were having rain. I've been having nothing but problems with this paint. I'm prepping for the paint. I'm using the gas power compressor. My other compressor died, the belt stripped out. Let's try the spray gun that I'm using is a Harbor Freight spray gun. I used it one other time just to paint the hood for the Dodge Dakota. And um, I had a reaction with the paint. So it never dried. So uh, I went to go use the gun and uh, the fan uh, adjuster knob just broke. As soon as I touched it, it just broke. Uh, I Now my other air compressor had, had died and uh, I ended up trying to use a, a, a warning uh, house sprayer, professional house sprayer and uh, it had got contaminated so I had to take it apart to clean it out and uh, I probably put a quarter paint running through the hose to come up to the gun and it wasn't spraying right this is my test board right here I'm getting paint on my phone <clears throat> it wasn't spraying right uh, so I cleaned out the gun the Harbor Freight gun and uh, I'm using the gas power compressor this is my first coat of Rust-Oleum Smoke Gray. Again, I taped off the truck about almost a week ago, but we've been having rain. We actually have 40% chance of rain today, and I still painted. I've been wanting to sell the truck to pay off some bills. I tried to pop off the mirror, and I ended up breaking it. Uh, like I said, we, I taped it off. We had rain. My my paper's peeling off. Some of the other spots that I had paper had blown off. See the paper on the ground. I got a mess in my yard right now. Got stuff blown around because of the weather. Uh, it looks all right. The top of my gun is, isn't going on. It's going on crooked. It's not lining up with the grooves. So I have drips on my gun. It's very messy. I'm really peed off about the whole situation, but I have no money to go down to Melbourne from Coco and get another gun. Uh, this is a drip because of the lid, because the lid's not on right. Uh, it's 90 degrees today, and uh, I'm sweating. Any was that horizontal area that I'm painting. I have to worry about swip falling off my arm or something like that. Like when I was doing the, the roof, I had sweat dripping when I leaned across to paint the front portion of the, the roof. I had sweat dripping on the back half, so I stopped. Um, I didn't do a lot of body work on the truck. I did sand it, but I didn't sand it that good. Um, I did get this cap. I don't know what the reaction of the Rust-Oleum oil-based uh, paint is going to do on the fiberglass. I kind of have a feeling that it's going to kind of bubble-like, causing like little pit holes. Again, this is my first run. You can see I have some love bugs collecting on the paint I'll let it dry off and I'll knock them off uh, you can still see where the stripes were on the truck I got some uh, paint in 
some varnish remover and it came out like jelly. Uh, using that chair to climb into the back of the bed to paint the roof. This was a fiberglass roof repair that I did. It was rotted right there. Wasn't didn't show any rust. It just showed some bubbles. I hit it with the DA, and all of a sudden it all crumbled apart. I get the cap, but the cap will hide that. And when I put the window in, the window lip will hide some of it out, some more of it. Again, I'm just giving it a quick spray to sell it. People have come over and I had it listed for $1,200. It runs and drives good. I just put a transmission in it. Paid $500 for the training shop to put the training sh training in. I bought the transmission at a local junkyard. I put a torque converter in this. I put a new radiator, electric fans, uh, idle air control valve, uh, change uh, a bunch of stuff. I've done a lot to this truck. Uh, I got about $2,500 into the truck. I know I'm not going to get $2,500 for the truck. And, uh, you know, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose. This is going to be a lose. I have more money into the truck than I'm going to get back. I'd really like to try to get... Well, I had it listed for 1200 It has super, super cold AC. The interior is pretty clean. And uh, people were saying that it was rough. Rougher than they expected and stuff like that. I don't know what they were thinking about getting for $1,200 running and driving with AC. Um, there's no issues with the motor. It has 148,000 miles on it. It has a brand new distributor and tune-up. I also have a rebuilt distributor inside the truck. All the parts that came off the truck go with the truck. Um, but at one point, I offered it to a lady for $800 because I wanted to get rid of it. I'm, I'm behind a little on my bills. I've been taking uh, some money that I was supposed to be putting towards my bills and paying, uh, trying to fix the truck, try to get the transmission running and stuff like that so I could sell the truck. The truck was doing me no good sitting in my yard. Um, but even at $800, I had people kicking their feet. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it on Craigslist again after I'd done painting it with the top on it, and hopefully I'll, I'll get a bite on it. Um, I don't know what to list it for after I do all this. Uh, locally, they are selling for about $2,500. I've seen some for going for more. I've seen a lot going for less also. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'd be happy with at, at this point. Like I said, I get $2,500 into it. I'd be pretty happy with two grand. I don't even know. You know, $1,500. A buddy of mine tells me to sell my Explorer and keep the Dakota because it's a pickup truck and that it's automatic. Uh, Cape Carcuda signing out. This is my Dakota project, long and waiting. And uh been trying to paint this truck and get it all together for over a year now. Thanks for watching. Cape Carcuda signing out.